What advice would you give to students who get accepted? So for our incoming first year students, what should they do in their summer before coming in? Uh, enjoy your summer. <laughs> I've heard that there's a lot of, uh, obviously, opinions about this, whether to study or whether to brush up on some anatomy or, you know, travel somewhere. Um, because of my undergrad, I didn't have the opportunity to take any anatomy classes or physiology classes uh, that related to human anatomy specifically, like a lot of my classmates who took, um, you know, kinesiology undergrads or health sciences. And so I came in sort of blind into this profession, um, into this first year, and getting thrown into anatomy labs and cadaver labs and learning all this material that I had never touched before in my undergrad. So at, at that time it was a bit overwhelming, but I knew I had the ability to learn quickly and you know study efficiently mm -hmm. in order to get through that first semester. So. I took the opportunity just to sort of travel and hang out with friends and family and I worked a little bit we had our medical terminology course during the summer and I didn't really know any better because I didn't know anyone in the PA program to tell me anything else that you know your first semester is going to be really hard you should probably brush up on you know this subject um, so I, I didn't have anyone to tell me that and I'm sort of glad that I didn't have anyone to tell me that because I'm very grateful for those months that I had during the summer because basically once September started, it was like, you know, start like it started, like you basically are running for the next two years through PA school um, and you're drinking out of a fire hydrant essentially with the amount of information that's coming out uh, at you. And yeah, I think for most people, you just sort of have to relax and take the time to enjoy the freedom that you have now because your next two years are going to be so busy mm -hmm. and you're going to have to sacrifice some of your personal time when you're in PA school. So I would take advantage of that during the summer. So it really depended on the class. So in terms of anatomy, I had no background. So I was learning 100% from scratch. Um, and it, it was difficult, of course, learning that type of information uh, you know, within one month is very difficult. But then I started to realize that, okay, I, I bring attributes that my classmates don't necessarily have, right? Or experiences that my classmates may not have like I bring my psych background and I bring my endocrinology background and these are things that a lot of like I said a lot of my classmates have never experienced before whereas they have a lot of experience in anatomy or um, in physiology so I've I really took my time to get to know my classmates know what their backgrounds were and then sort of have them teach me and use them as a tool of studying how did you do that was that in person or online it was in person, so for our first residential block when we're here in September for the month, um, we're doing anatomy labs and we're doing um, a few other classes, clinical skills. And so when I was having to learn the anatomy, I you know, kind of buddied up with someone that took kinesi kinesiology in undergrad and they basically taught me the whole human body <laughs> in a month. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it came to second semester, for example, when we had to start diving into endocrinology or third semester when we started diving into psychology, then I started to have classmates coming to me for help in areas that I was uh, more of an expertise in, I guess. And what was your experience like learning clinical skills, physical exam, OSCE, etc.? It was... Um, the, the clinical setting for me, I, it was something that I've, I was already used to because I worked in clinical uh, clinical practice for you know five years at that point. So that wasn't too intimidating. It was just more so learning all the terminology uh, of everything and and being comfortable like touching a patient, for example, because I never necessarily had to do that in my prior position rather than other than just like you know strapping on a blood pressure machine. Um, so it was a bit of a learning curve, but. I had already been exposed to patients and talking to patients, so I didn't have to you know, get over that hurdle. It was more so, how do you talk to them and perform physical examination in five minutes, um, and you know, a timing issue, if anything.